Okay, Far Cry 5, and this is episode 15 of my walkthrough, and we are picking up pretty much exactly where I left off at the end of the last episode, except I went up and I saw Pastor Jerome, and he gave me a quest. I went into the shop and changed all my weapons around again, so I'm using the M60, the slingshot, and the uh, 1911 silenced pistol. All right. So we are out of here, and what we are going to do is, um, map. We're going to go over here and do this quest, which we will track and view it in the journal. Just an outpost, but it gives you the ultimate survivor enhanced recipe, so it costs less components to um, build. And we'll go there, and then probably after we've been there... We will go to um, the Great Elevator here and get the Widowmaker and grab this Prepper Stash here. So that's us. Let's actually get um, Adelaide in. And if we're going to head over there, we might as well get up some wingsuit kilometers or meters. Come on, Adelaide, did I actually... Baby. She's the best, Adelaide. She just has to find her... yeah. Alright, Adelaide, land. I'll do that. Land right here. No thanks. Come on. Land. Sure Thank thing. you. What is looking at me? That's Enemy aircraft? Adelaide, put that thing on the ground. I'm going to work on in this episode. We need some throwing knife kills. And we need some wingsuit meters, so... That's what we're going to work on. Alright, Adelaide, run up the street a bit because I'm going to take your helicopter. Oh, she's had it painted. Where are you going? You're going to drive up there. Oh my god, really? At least she didn't crash into the helicopter. Alright. Up we go. Where's our quest? 1200 meters away perfect I'm gonna just fly this helicopter to its ceiling uh, when we get up there it'll beep and give me a warning tone that I've hit the, the height ceiling in the game and we're gonna jump out wingsuit over there so hopefully we can come across some enemies that are low enough level that I can use throwing knives on and wingsuit over there. I don't think we'll be able to get the um, wingsuit challenge done here. I need, um, I don't know, I think you've only wingsuited on this character about 100 meters or something. So once we get to the ceiling we will bunk out and wingsuit. So I'm flying up and I'm backing back a little bit. So hopefully we can get all the way there. Should be able to get 13, 1400 meters out of this. Come on, hit the ceiling. Oh, how long does it take? And I'm going to use the slingshot again in this episode. Last episode I tried to use the slingshot. That's us, we're out. And wingsuit. Yeah, last episode I actually tried to use the wing, the the slingshot but I forgot to change to arrows so I was like chucking rocks at people which uh, didn't work real well so Adelaide's done her thing let's unassign Adelaide I'm gonna go drink some bourbon. you go and have a bourbon I wish I was having a bourbon right now I will be in a little while So we'll get a lazy 13, 1400 meters out of this towards our two perk points from completing the wingsuit distance challenge. It's a bit easier than actually jumping off uh, or climbing all the way to a, um, a wingsuit spot. This looks like as good a place as any to land. And... 
All right, so you, I was going to say, so you can't do that while you're wing, while you're parachuting. Let's get Boomer in. Boomer's going to mark all these enemies for us. Yeah, see that sometimes happens when you uh, you do this. See, Adelaide. Oh, she's now available. It has happened once that. I took a helicopter and did exactly what I just did then and then it came up that Adelaide wasn't available for 20 minutes as if she died so I haven't quite got that sorted yet but I haven't done it that many times all right let's put Boomer down there and we'll run around the other side of this um, outpost and bring Boomer across the front and then to the back and he probably will have marked everybody How did she know we're going to the Grain Elevator in this episode? It must be four or five hundred metres away from the Grain Elevator. All right, Boomer, come to the back here. We have a sniper up the top. No, he's not a sniper. There's one sniper out the front. I think from memory there's about eight enemies here. All right. Come back here, Boomer. Let's get our slingshot out and let's get throwing knives ready and see what kind of enemies we've got here. Oh, normal enemies. Perfect. I thought we might have quite a few armoured enemies here. This guy does stop here. I do know this. I've done this a few times. We can take him down and take the body with us. I know that that guy in front of me doesn't look around too regularly. I'm more worried about a guy coming around from that side. There is another way you can do this. You can actually get up the top on that tower and zip line across, but um, I haven't had much luck at that. Someone here spots me. This guy is coming to us, so... I'll put Boomer there. That's good. I'm getting a bit up in resistance points here. I thought these guys might actually be um, armoured. Let's put that there. And then let's put him over there. And he's a standard cultist, so throwing knife will be a one-shot. And we will take his body, because... I know sometimes more of these cultists come around the back of this place, so we might want to lure some more enemies out that way. So we are going to take this guy out for our throwing knife kills. What are you doing? Totally messing up my buttons then. Panicking and mashing buttons. We got away with it though because I fired an arrow, not a gun. Three down. I haven't quite worked it out yet. There's a point at which, so when I did, I did do a practice run for this area. There's a point at which so I'm just over nearly to the third level. I'm at 9,525 resistance points. The character I practiced on before I started this episode has a lot more resistance points. And when I came here on him, he had, on that character, a lot of these enemies were actually armoured, the ones that wear like the black looking trench coat. So these guys aren't actually set in their normal positions that I'd expect them to be in. Something's um, bothered them. They're moving around more than normal. I would do expect this guy here to come down this ladder. Because he should be standing somewhere over there, I think. Yeah, he's coming down the ladder, which is a perfect thing. So we should be able to... Drop him there. Is he 
going to go? There he is. And we'll take the body with us. The talking I can hear is the guy above me. So we'll go and dump his body with the rest of his friends. These outposts, uh, some of them are hard, but most of them, if you're patient, and you sort of look for the... to be behind your enemies. So this outpost is sort of set up for everyone to be looking at the road. So you come in the back way. Put him there. If he will be as polite to go there. And probably put him over here. So he's not in the line of that doorway with the guy inside who might look out and see him. And we'll go for another throwing knife kill. Um, how many enemies we got left? Four. I don't think any more of these enemies come out the back, so I am going to dump him here. Wrong button. I want to throw a rock. It's been five days since I played, so... See if I can turn him around. Throwing knife challenge complete. Two perk points awarded. Perfect. Throwing knives are good at early in the game when you've got these enemies. These are just basic cultists. But once you get into some of the other cultists, they are not a one shot with a throwing knife and sometimes the throwing knife seems a little inconsistent that guy is not moving that guy is set in his place we will take this guy out and take his body with us And go back up the ladder again. I am paranoid about bodies. This game, it seems weird. Sometimes I swear I've hidden the bodies completely. They're in long grass where you can hide, but they seem to have this perception and have no problem seeing enemies where I don't think they should be seen. Loot you. And one more to take out and we're undetected which is sweet and all right one thing you can do with this too you can fire arrows you can also fire explosive arrows so we can just take this guy out and maybe even take that truck out down there nah it cut out before i could do it that's it our post undetected And the game will pop up on the screen that we've got the um, the achievement done, or the um, here we go, ultimate survivor enhanced version. What the hell is that? I know it seems like a big fuss for oh, really? Well, Explosive arrows, come on. Nah, medikit, medikit, those guys. I see in me. That's the convoy. I would have liked to have taken that out then. Alright, we are here. Let's go up here and get the safe. Boots full.
certainly useful. We can make one Molotov. And we fall on dynamite. It's locked. What am I doing? I'm trying to open it. Like I'm looting something. I was thinking about something else then. We have to blow that up, of course. Vicious dog. What the hell is going on down there? I don't know who's who down there. Get on with it. Let's blow this thing up. No. Oh, that is so frustrating. I want to shoot this guy. Get out of here. Have we got more enemies somewhere? Get on with it. Let's just blow this safe up and get out of here. Get our gold bars and that. And now let's get out of here. Silver bars, sorry. I'll gut you like a rainbow trout, hey? I don't know what the hell they're up to, but... Alright, I want to talk to you about the quest, but... What are you trying to shoot? What are they trying to do, Boomer? Right, let's go and pick up the map to sell and mark. Oh, that's the moose challenge. Killer moose. Killer moose. Shop. Let's just top up on ammo and move on. Hopefully there's a there's actually usually a helicopter nearby. I hope it's still there. We can go and do the same thing for the wingsuit meters. Um, ammo. We're full. Um, sell the loot. And items uh, explosive arrows we'll buy them and we're done all right is the helicopter up the hill there there is usually a helicopter of course it's not there now oh there is the helicopter on the roof here I could really use your help. it's normal, up there That's us, helicopter. I was thinking of one, there's normally one up on the hill up there somewhere. I forgot all about this one. And I think we've got to go that way. Let's get the map open. Let's do the wingsuit thing again. We are only going to the prepper stash here. It's only 300 meters, but we'll back off and make it a little bit further as we climb in altitude. And I don't know how many more wingsuit meters we need. Let's have a look. Challenges, wingsuit. I only need for 340. You're right down there, Boomer. This should get our wingsuit challenge done, actually. 
Do you reckon we're high enough? I reckon we am. Let's bail out. The helicopter stays up by itself for quite a long time. That's our wingsuit challenge complete. We do not want to go near that place. We want to land out the back here if possible. I'm not going to blow that up now. It's scary if we blow that up now. Right, we're going to use Boom to tag everything up here again as normal. But we have one enemy right there already. Good boy, Boomer. Okay, Boomer, run in there, run around, tag some people up for me. What can I hear? Skunk or Wolverine or something. So this place is not an outpost. We don't have to do it stealthy to get the bonus. Um, so... Put a rock there and see what happens. Let's play with this again. Oh, I'd like to take him out, but the other guy's very close and will see me. Let's put him a bit further around the corner, maybe. Last rock, if he doesn't move for that, leave him alone. You throw too many rocks and it sort of aggroes them for some reason. Some enemies that is, not all of them. I'd take this guy out, but that other guy's looking. If the other guy turns his back, I'll take him out. Oh, chain takedown. I had explosive arrows on. Run away. Oh my god. Boomer, get out here. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Alright, that didn't go to plan. The plan here was to actually sneak in. Boomer's going to go down here. I'm not going to get back to Boomer, I don't think. I always wondered this. Can I unassign Boomer while he's down? Mm, no, nah, doesn't work. All right, let's put a normal arrow on here instead. Did I kill Boom myself, or I want to rescue Boomer. Oh, I'm a legend. Cool boy, Boomer. Alright, let's just do this. Enough bullshit. This is not an outpost, so it doesn't matter. We are still on hard difficulty, so I have to take my time. Have a proximity mind, dude. You're going to run away? No way. Have we done this? 
Yeah, we're done. Purpose dash. Take our proximity mine back. It's not a hard place to kill anyone, everyone in here, but it is still satisfying to do it undetected. Well, um, yeah, we're full anyway. Good doggy. Where's the bad doggy? In here. I have an LMG, sorry bud. But you're blissful. Or you're not blissful, you're full of bliss. Okay, let's do this prepper stash. I read the note. Um, journal. I will track it. it. Tells you to go in this window. This is a very easy prepper stash. It's just a little maze. Ah, beehives in Far Cry 5 are only dangerous if you shoot them. If you don't shoot them, you can just walk past them. Um, I want to jump over this trapdoor if possible. Just to get that. And there's a safe in there. Which we will actually put that there. We should blow up the beehive completely. And not leave any bees behind. Take out 250 and keep going. So when you fall down through here, it confused me for a long time. And you find the safe. You have to climb up here. And... Punch will kick your way through there. There's another beehive, just don't shoot it and everything's good. And so much better than Far Cry 4 when you went near a beehive, it actually killed you. Let's grab that. Um, where are we going? Oh, up there. And up there. And we have arrived, I think. No, one more jump. Up. Where am I? I mean, uh... Weird spot. Like I fell off something. Now we've arrived. Perks, perks, and more perks. I must have over 60 perks on this character now. Um, but this character, having said that, is pretty well built. We don't need to get a lot of uh, a lot more perks to actually even finish this game now. Um, can you please shut up? Thank you. Alright, if you want to get into this place, the key is actually sitting over here, but I don't think I need the key because I killed everyone. Or someone is carrying the key and you loot them at some point. I've noticed on practice runs here. Yeah, it's opened, which is kind of weird. You don't have to open that. It'll open automatically as soon as you get in the Widowmaker. Widow uh, nothing else. The power of yes. Don't you miss Far Cry 4 where you used to burn posters? Oh, I've set myself on fire, of course. Um, that's it for us. We are out of here on the Widowmaker. Can Adelaide come back? Let's get Adelaide in for some air cover. And away we go. Okay, I'll hurry over.
I love the music in this game, but when I'm recording, I generally kill it. Normally, I would just listen to the music. So really with this guns you just want to shoot the blokes in the cars you don't want to blow the cars up because if you get too close to them they will actually blow you up so just shoot the guys in the car don't blow the car up like that if you can avoid it because it will kill you pretty easy on hard difficulty missed him now he's following me. Whoa, cool. Where is Adelaide? Is she actually helping me at all or not really? These oil tankers kill me so many times, they blow up like that. Alright, and I have, um, what do you call it, auto repair, the perk, so it actually does work on the Widowmaker in this, um, in this actual quest mission. Chapow. Come on, hurry up, let's get out of here. I like shooting deer, I don't want to run them over though. No money, no profit in it. move. You can see the auto repair perk working on the Widowmaker now. We're pretty much home aren't we? Probably should there's a case to be had for getting the Widowmaker early in the game and using it more. Pretty indestructible. Where's the bear? There he is. Hope that was the bear I killed and not the stake. One more to go, eh? Oh, you can't see behind you. Can you see out the mirror? We are done. Why is auto drive on? Auto drive is under the worst button on the Xbox. It's the left stick that you steer with. You have to push it down. Like the LS button. It's a long and drawn out uh, driving mission this one. Come on, hurry up. Let's get the Widowmaker home. Hmm. Sorry about your fence. All right, miss. Yep, not doing the whole story. We're skipping that. 
I hear anything worth your time? Perfect. We can use the widow maker whenever we want. It appears in the shops now. So that is us done. Leave him alone. Come and fight me. Alright, we are going to end this episode here and we will pick up in the next episode. Help what? Why help? Yeah, we'll um we'll end this episode here and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Oh you're gonna shoot me. Don't think so. Taking damage, you're about to crash land. Excellent, I thought he was about to crash on me then. Just what falls in needs a crashed airplane in the middle of the place. Perfect. Alright, end of episode. Catch you guys in the next episode. Cheers.